Hey everybody, this is Last 7 GameCube. Welcome back to more Pikmin. Yesterday, we got four ship parts from the Forest Naval, and today we're going to be getting the rest of the ship parts from the Forest Naval by fighting two bosses. One of which is, been, is actually pretty easy in the next game, but it's a little more challenging in this game. But, and the other boss, let's just say it's going to be kind of glitchy. Anyways, what you want to do right now... Take out 15 yellows. 15 yellows. And take the rest of them red. Make the rest of them red. Okay, so... Take ten of these guys and get the bomb rock over there. Sorry if I'm not talking. For those of you who've watched me for a long, long time, I'm not much of a talker. And you want to take these ten bomb rocks right here. Imagine yells actually being useful today. Okay, I don't know why I called them back. Okay, good, so they all have bombs. I am Joe, fear me! I am Pikmin, hear me moo! Anyways, I don't know why I didn't take that down. Oh yeah, forgot, in the Wii version! You can't take that down. You can take that down, but it'll reset every day for some stupid reason. D Excuse me! I didn't know why it could be so rude. For some stupid reason, whereas in the GameCube version, I don't think it happens. Jerkers and Mimo to do so. Anyways, I want to take those five, or that nah, ten. Bring these ten over here. Over here. Leave them right here. Don't. You don't want them to move, otherwise, they will all die. So. That happens. We're gonna be taking the rest of. We're gonna be taking the other five yellows, and we're gonna go get some more bomb rocks on the island where we found the gravity jumper. Is that item? Those bomb rocks. I don't think you can do this game without, unless you just did what I forgot to do instead of using those bomb rocks on the shell that I used that is not completely brought down, instead of even using them on another door here. There we go. Oh, what do you know? There's still some left over. Anyways, leave those guys over there. I don't know why that geyser's there. Wait, why is that geyser there? It's not going to be doing anything. Actually, what is Olimar doing over here? Eh, uh, whatever. Anyways... Take these guys over here. Everybody follow me! <laughs> Not that you have any choice. You really want them all to be flowered. Take these five, bring them over here. No, 15. Oh. I hate it when Pikmin just come back with their bombs. I really hate that. Like they don't know when to start the explosion. Okay, thank God that guy came back. That's actually the only good thing. Sometimes they come back, but other times they won't. You just want to keep your yellows here, safe and sound. If you don't, you're gonna go through hell. Like I did in my last take of this place where I'll show up right now. Keep that yellow over. Oh great, more another shield girl. Oh what? What the hell happened? That's why I hate Pikmin AI so much. We're leaving an outtake with 69 Pikmin. 
Really? <laughs> Why are they splitting apart? That's weird. No, seriously, look at that. They're just splitting apart. Really weird. <sighs> yeah! Pikmin AI! Okay, so you want to take down these sheer grubs and sheer wigs. Anyways, there's more over here. Don't just assume that you're all good to go. I think there's another one. Really? There isn't? Huh. I thought there was. Anyways, get these guys to go over here. That gate you want to take is what you wanted your yellows for. And you want to keep out only 15 yellows. You can have a maximum of 25. I suggest you just have a lower pigment count. Because this boss can destroy a lot of pigment very easily. The one that we're going to be fighting after you tear down this door. Actually, no. We're going to fight that boss after fighting this boss. You see off in the distance over there? That enemy right there. That's the bo first boss we're going to fight. That is the puff stool. I'm gonna cut ahead till these guys break this down. Okay, now that we've gotten that down. Why wasn't the B button working for a second there? Stay there. Okay, so there aren't any other people there. Now, what do you wanna do? Go down this way, cuz you'll see a Wally Wog right there. I didn't know there were shoes there. Oh great, a Wally Wog and a Sheer Grub can mean hell for them. Ow! That scared me. Oh, hey! You come back here! You come back here! You come back here! There! Okay, good, so no, none of them glitch through the ground. Speaking of glitching through the ground, this guy. Okay, this guy, you want to be careful. Your pick, if you try to attack its head when it's upside down, your Pikmin will glitch through the ground. I am not kidding. Matter of fact, in my practice file, oh, that gas over there can turn your Pikmin into mushroom Pikmin, which is actually, will actually hurt Olimar. I'm not kidding. Otherwise, he's pretty timid. Anyways, you don't want any of your Pikmin to attack it head. Otherwise, they'll just glitch to the ground. Anyways, because in my practice file of this game, it took me five tries to get this guy done correctly. Because... Finally, I'll make a stable. I had literally over 80 Pikmin glitch through the ground. I am not kidding. And they don't glitch through the ground when they're taking these guys back. Nintendo logic at its finest. Actually, more like gaming logic, not just Nintendo logic. He's had him carry those back. And there we go. Now that we got those back, yeah, why not? I guess they can take out the Wally. Take back the Wally book. Um, there the nails. Anyways, we're not gonna bring those reds back to, into their onions because, yeah, you're gonna need them more for this day. Oh, what? Pikmin AI has to get them killed. Like I said, I hate the Pikmin AI in this game. Case in point! Then again, I, don't th I think we only need... Very few. What the heck? For a second there, I thought the boss was going to appear after that. Even though it doesn't. 
for some stupid reason. Anyways, we got that back. Eleven more. Music change? Why? It's me, Petey Longlegs! He's just... Wait! He attacks in specific patterns, which is why you want yells for this. You don't want your Pikmin to attack its feet. Attacking its feet will not do anything. There's yeah. Yes, I need an opportunity for it to keep shaking. Because that's the best time to attack it, is when it's shaking. Anyways, yeah, this is BD Longlegs. In case I didn't tell you already. He attacks in a specific pattern. If you like to identify this pattern, it'll make this fight even easier than it already is. Not that it's that difficult anyway. Oh, what the heck? Anyways, oh, you see he's falling up he's falling apart. That means he's becoming weak. Anyways, he's almost finished. Come on. Yeah! Got it! Guard satellite. And of course, it needs 20 pigment to carry it. I'm gonna put the. I'm gonna put the yellows back in the onion and have the reds carry that, so I'll be right back. Okay, back here. I guess you guys can bring this back. Oh, crap. We're not gonna make it, are we? We're not gonna make it, are we? Please, we tell me we can make it. Mm. Not carrying those back. We already have enough reds. Mm. Mm. Oh, what? What are those five reds doing over there? Let's try to save them. I don't care if that guy tripped in base and Thank God Thank God I got that thing back. Let's just laugh at all the enemies. Let's just show off and laugh at all the enemies because they're not gonna claim other pigments life! Let's just laugh at the enemies while we bring these guys back, but it's there, because you're not going to claim other pigments life! Nice. What the heck? Wow, weird angle of it. Because- ah! One of them tripped out at the cinematic. Anyways. <sighs> We ain't never coming back! <laughs> Ever. Eight days since impact. Oh horrors, a bomb rock explosion engulfed my Pikmin. That last horrified ex facial expression is burned into my memory. I must review my procedures for handling Pikmin with bomb rocks so that I do not repeat this mistake. Just to let you. When I press A to throw Pikmin who are carrying bomb rocks, they will toss their bomb rocks at nearby obstacles or walls. When I load them into an onion, they will drop their bomb rocks to separate bomb rock carriers from other Pikmin. I merely disband them with C or hold A and grab one for a moment to switch the Pikmin I'm holding. I can th press and hold A and then B press B. It's a touch difficult to master, but master it I must. Sounds like Yoda. 
Master it, I must. The way of the pig pig carrots is a path to the dark side. Okay. Oh, I did it. Anyways, yeah. Just saying, in Pikmin 2, you won't be able to carry bomb rocks at all. In fact, if you touch a bomb rock in Pikmin 2, it'll instantly go off. Only lost four in battle, that's actually not too bad. Spread out 41 because of those because of that puff stool, thank god. We have over 200 breads, wow. Anyways, yeah, today is actually not that bad. 11 parts are remaining. Oh no, we have 22 days to get 11 parts. However, will we get it? Well, I was just saying, the next area is actually quite challenging. Even though I love the music. Save yes. I'm going to end this video off. So, tomorrow, now that we've c finished up the forest navel, we are going to start a new area. The Distant Spring. See you guys tomorrow.